welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. So today I'm wearing my Sylvia robe and this is a pattern from Sew so Over It and I made the full length version. I actually didn't make a lot of modifications to this pattern because it's quite oversized and I just used the extra large I think but I could probably get away with a smaller size really. I did make one for my cousin for a Christmas gift last year and I actually tried it on and I think I made the sort of small to medium and actually I could get it on fine so I could probably get away with doing one that's slightly smaller because I feel like it's quite a lot of space sort of under the arm. So I've made it in a polyester sort of semi-translucent fabric. You can see it's got some pretty flowers on there. It is quite hot to wear in the summer because it isn't very breathable. But I really would like to make one in a sort of cotton voil material. But hopefully get that done next year maybe. So let's give you a twirl. I have actually also got on a handmade t-shirt on underneath. This is just a simple Frankie t-shirt and it's out of the book Stretch and it's by Tilly and the Buttons. I just made a, a simple grey version of it and popped it underneath as a sort of lay interface. <laughs> I could do with a navy t-shirt really, a plain navy t-shirt to go with this because of the navy background of the fabric. But there we go. Time to show you what socks I've got on today. For the Christmas bananas that are really ripe so I'm going to make some banana loaf because as far as I'm concerned bananas for, are for making banana loaf with <laughs> you shouldn't eat them on their own they're bad for you <laughs> so I'm going to follow a recipe from the BBC food website and I'll put a link in the description bar down below if you want to make it so I'm hoping it goes all right this time because I'll have to show it on the video although I could always cut this bit out <laughs> So I've got the bananas and I'm mashing them up. They have to be, well they don't have to be, but I think they work better when they're really ripe. Adam hates this bit because he hates bananas really. He's just stood there watching me, he says I'm not helping. I don't think he should get any. <laughs> the recipe says to add mixed spice, but I'm just gonna add some cinnamon in it instead. I won't list all the ingredients, I'll just pop the link in the description bar so you can get the rest off the website. And you can see me bunging it all into the mixer. <laughs> my mixer is from the 1970s that I basically stole it off my mum because she wasn't using it. And um, it's still going strong, so that's all good. Basically saves me having to mix everything by hand, which is good. Apart from mashing the bananas, of course. But So let's get started, shall we?
There we are, pop it in the oven for 40 minutes and it'll be done. It's time of year, come on up, come on in, get together, for a good time, smile my dear, come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree, so let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. I have a finished pair of socks. Now on to the next project. So Adam, yes. is it lint chocolate today? That is well, the question. Never know, day 12? Yep. Oh, for a rocher. Oh, fancy. And, oh, a lint. That's it too today. Day 12. Yep. Halfway. Clock strikes and it's all So then, Adam, what is it? Well, I think they're the spare bits, but I think it probably clips onto the side of the fireplace, I'm guessing. Is it like a window? I don't know, because there's this bit there, so I'm guessing it's part of like a, a set or something like that. It'll be interesting to see what comes out next. Yeah. A swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. Two little owls. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! It's okay, I see. Something else. A galaxy and a Ferrero Rocher. Okay. I finished a little star! <laughs> and I am very aware that I completely butchered the title of the pattern, and I will leave a link below and not do it again. <laughs> but it is a free pattern. And it was fun to have a go at. It was very fiddly doing it in four ply yarn. So the original pattern is in DK weight. And I used 2.5 millimetre needles. I might have another go using the, the thicker yarn actually. Because it was quite a fun little make. So I thought that it was a little bit fiddly to start with. But once I'd got into it, you knit from the outside in. And then pick up stitches and do the back exactly the same. And then I've stuffed him and sewn in the ends and I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon instead of using that yarn to hang him on the Christmas tree. But he's quite cute and it'll be interesting to see what size the DK would come out like as well. So I've got two finishes today, a pair of socks and a little star for the Christmas tree. We 